welcome to my decrepit mansion. We used to have like a cat live here. So we made a little cat hole. Oh shoot, there's bees. There's not even a window here anymore. I don't even know where that went. This place is pretty run down. I mean, at one point, I'm sure it was a great greenhouse. It's got crap all over the place. Is there a light switch? I don't even know there, does it work? Whoa. Well, the lighting works. That's surprising. Yeah, okay, the sink doesn't work. Well, that's a shame. Unless I can turn it on. There's just an open pipe right there. Okay, maybe that's not a good thing. But there's just a pipe sticking out. <clears throat> done a little research on the greenhouse. The first thing I researched was how greenhouses work and what is the purpose. And then I went into a little bit of history about the greenhouse. To start off with the history, the greenhouse was originally created in the ancient Roman days for Emperor Tiberius so he could grow his daily cucumber and eat it. Pretty magnificent. He had a cucumber every single day. His greenhouse was spectacular. Greenhouses allow for temperatures to be adjusted to the right climate. 
so growing season can be extended. This makes crops grow bigger, be healthier, and also allows them to be protected from any harsh environments. Greenhouses uses the sun to trap in heat. To make the most efficient greenhouse possible, you want to position it clear of trees and in direct sunlight. In theory, you want the sun to be perpendicular with the roof of your greenhouse. However, the sun moves like this. So having it perpendicular the whole time is extremely difficult. A dome-shaped greenhouse will likely accomplish that. However, you lose space and it's difficult to maintain and build. I recommend you build just a square greenhouse as it is very simple to build, maintain, and although it won't be perpendicular with the sun the whole time, it will still be effective. My greenhouse is a reasonable size, about the size of a small room. It has a sink, a fan, and a heater. Um, the greenhouse has some holes in it, but uh, as you can see in the video, the windows are not fully sealed. I got some sealed spray stuff. It wasn't enough, but I, it helped out a little bit, but I could not fill up the whole windows. It's just going to have to be how it is. The whole door doesn't have a window, so this is why I put a glass pane over the window from an old door. If you were looking to build a greenhouse, it can range in price. You can buy one online for about $25. Can you believe that? $25 for a greenhouse? Maybe 30 or 40 shipped to your door? This isn't a big greenhouse. This is about 9 feet long. About yay high. Meant for some small plants. You don't have a whole lot of space to maneuver in, definitely. But it's solely meant for just growing plants. And it will work great. But then you can get more serious, and you can step it up to a, an actual building. Most greenhouses on average cost about $5,000. Of course there's some high-end greenhouses which range around $25,000, but about $5,000 is the national average. You can just build a greenhouse with some tubing, set it up, and then cover it in plastic. And boom, you got a greenhouse. However, winter time is a different story. If you're going to grow in the winter, a greenhouse is essential. Greenhouses will not only make it keep it warm, but it will keep it safe from those harsh winds and environments that come during that time. Growing in the winter can be very difficult and a heater is definitely recommended. Be sure that your greenhouse is insulated, however, or else the heating might not be very effective. <clears throat> be sure to use a thermometer in your greenhouse so you can monitor the temperatures and make sure it is suited for your crop. If the temperature gets really low, you could always add a horticulture fleece, which is basically a blanket for your crops, so it will add a few extra degrees in those really cold winter nights. Water will build up and make it very humid in the greenhouse. Be sure that you have ventilation. Even though it's cold, it is essential. During, you likely want to open your ventilation system during the day when it is a little bit warmer, let, all, let out all the humidity, the steam, let everything depart, and then close it up for nighttime. 